Okay. So, I have some tools. I got Mithril all cinched up. He does not like to be brushed. So, this is the first thing that we're starting with. You can get these at Walmart. They are essential to start with. They're not going to do one heck of a whole lot as far as a finish tool. But this just loosens it up and it doesn't pull very hard on him. And these are the hard spots right here. Mithril does not like his hair pulled. Holy cow. And he doesn't like his back brushed either. So it's really important that I gently begin by getting it all kind of loosened up and get it up to the surface. It's like wool. Okay. Now that this is oh, right by his testicles, he's not going to like that very much. And I just keep working in a pattern and call it layer brushing. So I start with one layer down here, loosen it up all the way across. And just kind of pull it up to the surface. You really don't need to get it out now. Just looking to loosen it up all the way across. And always start down and move up. Okay. Now his mane, when I pet him, I can feel right here is where it's all bunching up. So the hair falls from here down to here, especially when we pet him. And we pet him a lot. So I separate the hair with my hand, pulling it back, going down to the root, and I just want to loosen it up because he's not going to like this. His neck is a really sensitive area where the hackles are. Um, there's a lot of nerves, and the skin is kind of thin right there between the shoulders. And speaking of shoulders, you know that shoulder bone, you know, is right here. So Smacking the brush down a lot is another thing that's going to piss them off. Uh, so don't, uh, don't do that. Okay, not by his neck. I just want to loosen it up. This little tool has been with me since, well, before there was an Amazon. And uh, these big thick coats with four layers, I cannot get through without it. And especially these big guys, if you start uh, start hurting them, they will just leave. So <laughs> it's important that their comfort is the most important thing here. Another thing about these Colorado Mountain Dogs is that they are seasonal shedders. So until today, this coat was not ready to let go. And when I pet him. I can start feeling chunks. I can pull chunks out with my fingers. And it follows a pattern. It's kind of a Nike swirl. Starts here and goes up like that. So all this area is what, once this starts to loosen up, then I know that his coat is ready to let go in the springtime. Hi, little Sage. Little Sage is here. Providing moral support. That's his new girlfriend. Hopefully they're going to have puppies. She's really helping. So after I've got this loosened up to my satisfaction, I'm going to just give him a good little butt scratch here. And then I'm going to turn to this slicker brush. Come on back here, buddy. Good boy. And just kind of take off what I got at the end. What I loosened up. Still working in layers. Cross. And because Mithril lives outside, I don't want to take out his undercoat entirely in one sitting. Um, if I had to, bring him to the groomer or something where they would work on him and take it all out. Um, 
that uh, it, well, it's not good for him. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is probably just day one. Um, I want to loosen it up enough so it can fall out on its own, first of all. And secondly, I don't want to rob him of any protection in our Colorado weather. It's very, uh, it's very finicky. It could be very cold in the morning and then hot in the afternoon. If he has just his undercoat with no new growth um, for a couple of weeks, it's a little tricky. So I'll do it in stages. I'll just take out what's loose. Um, the coat will let go, like I said, in this area first, and then it'll go down to the butt. Then the last thing to let go is this mane up here. So over the next couple of weeks, I'm just going to be working on his mane to get as much of the as much of the wool out as I can, and then the rest of it will fall out on its own. Okay, so I've done a little bit with a slicker brush. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a handy dandy spray. Uh, my handy dandy spray. Whoa, buddy. Back over here. Oh, I'm sorry. Get up. Oh, I'm scaring him. Okay, so, all right, that's okay. We can turn around. Turn around, turn around. There you go. There you go. Your butt's right in the way. Turn around a little bit. There we go. Okay, nature's miracle. It's got enzymes, surfactants, and it's, uh, if you're lucky enough to live with certain, certain ruminants have these enzymes in their poop, so if these livestock guardians live with them, these livestock, the uh, enzymes get onto the coat, and uh, you don't have to buy the artificial kind that I have, but I'm not lucky enough at this point in time. So let's start a little bit with this side, just so I can show you. Then the third tool that I'm going to drag out here is this rake. Right. It's smaller. It's going to get down to collect most of the stuff that the slicker brush left behind. Okay. Sage been playing in the mud, huh? Okay, well this is not the side we loosened up and it's not the side that's on the camera, so we'll do just a little bit. across in a layer. There's my good boy. That's my good boy. I'm probably blocking it. This little puppy's in my way. There you go, buddy. There you go. That's a good boy. That's a good boy, Echo. Okay. Down here. Okay. Okay. Just like a rush. There, see how much more I can get out using that rake once I've used these two tools. Tough spot up by the hackles. And it's always kinda if I can't if I can't see the skin, then I know that it's compacted is what us groomers call it. It's been pushed down so far that it really needs really needs to be uh, blown out really that's what it is and that lays mane here now this is the hardest spot for Mithril right here 
This looks like it's ready to let go a little bit. There we go. Oh, you're going to lay down? Okay. Let's see if we can get that. Let's see if we can get some out of here. Okay. And when you're working with a Colorado Mountain Dog coat, Always keep in mind that they should um, they should kind of on to themselves so that they can make a good blanket for staying outside. Uh, a lot of dead hair in the winter collects on their coat in the summer. They need to disperse of that dead hair so that they can get air in between the guard coat hairs. Oh, excellent. Good. I'm seeing skin. Good. Okay. Good boy. 